All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, back out here trying to catch some fluke. We're gonna stop at a spot that we caught our first keeper with in the last video. We got lucky to sna na uh, snag. Landed a uh, four and a half pound uh, fluke on the first drift. So we're gonna check that spot out. It's on the way out to the normal spot. So it's worth a drift. But uh, a little bouncy right now, but it's supposed to smoothen out in about an hour and a half. The wind's supposed to drop out to like nothing, so I figured I'd travel out in the snotty conditions, that way we don't miss any of the good conditions, so. There's bait all over the place, I mean, look at that. I mean, we could spend forever messing around with these big clouds of bait. This is like the sixth cloud we've seen today, and we've only been on the water for ten minutes. So, it's an awesome sign that there's a ton of bait in the water. Let's just hope there's fish underneath it. Look at that. That's what you want to see. Look at those marks. All right, we're gonna set up. Looks like sea bass. Hopefully there's some nice sea bass down there. All right, so like we did in our last video, we stored our bucktail at the end of last trip in the, in the gulp juice. So it's been marinating for about a week now. So it's pretty much slack tide, it's high tide right now. So that's why we're inshore messing around first. So maybe we have a little bit of a tide left. And uh, we could pick up some nice sea bass or some nice fluke. I picked up a nice four and a half pounder here, like I said earlier, uh, in the last trip. So fingers crossed, let's see uh, what it does. The water looks a lot cleaner than last time. Last time, I mean, you couldn't see five feet below the kayak, it was so dirty. Probably the nastiest water I've ever fished, honestly. But. Uh, all right, so we're using a one and a half uh, ounce funky bucktail with a munched off gulp, jig strip, fat cow jig strip, uh, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader, uh, that's Seaguar, 20 pound braid, um, Dio BG 3000, and a St. Croix Mojo Inshore uh, 7 foot medium power fast action. Great little rod, I love this thing, man. All right, we've been fishing this spot for probably about a half hour now, 40 minutes, and it hasn't produced much of anything. And the tide is starting to pick back up. So I would like to, as we pedal past a big cloud of bait, do one, one or two more drifts here and then we're gonna move to deeper water. Deeper water seems to be where it's at. First fish of the day, sea bass, little guy. <laughs> He's going for a wild ride. Fish. We'll take him. We'll take him. Hell yeah. Tomorrow these things we tomorrow we can catch seven sea bass. Oh happy Labor Day by the way guys. <laughs> Labor Day weekend. Hell yeah. I love these things, man. Pound for pound, these things really give you everything they got. What happened to my jig strip? Oh, there it is. Let me get that before that drifts down into my drive. There we go, I got it. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A nice, probably, he's touching three pounds, probably. Hell yeah, we'll take him. <clears throat> yeah. 
All right. That seems to be them right there. Sea bass. Woo. I love catching those things, man. They just give you everything they freaking have. Got that guy up to the sunlight. He saw the kayak. He was not having it, man. He dove like two or three times on me. All right, so we got snagged up on that pot. Rookie mistake, but uh, stuff happens. Tied on another one and a half ounce uh, funky bucktail, pink and white. And obviously a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. We're gonna tie on a, we're gonna tie on, we're gonna put on a uh, six inch um, pink and white grub. I'm not a big fan of these grubs. I think they're pretty fragile compared to the other gulps. But uh, I like the tail, the tail action's crazy. All right, let's see what this grub produces. Hopefully a big ass sea bass or a nice fluke. You know, big long, oh, something's got it already. Sea bass. Wow, look at that. That's how aggressive these things are. He just gobbled that whole freaking thing up, man. Look at this. That whole six inch grub is in his mouth. You see that? Look at that. Damn. I'm trying not to hurt you, buddy. I'm sorry. There we go. Fluke. No, wow. Holy smokes. It gave me head shakes like a fluke. See that? Nah, we'll put him back. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's two fish. These things aren't cheap either. So we're going to flip it around. We'll put it through a new side and reuse it. Oh, that's a nice flute. Whoa. <laughs> Swam up with me the entire time. It is not a nice fluke, it's very little. Why he came up so fast? Gotta tighten this drag down a little bit. Oop, wrong way. All right, so we're out much deeper. Tide's cranking, it's a full moon. Crazy things happen on a full moon. There we go. Little sea bass. Tiny thing, wow. Whoa. All right, so we took that old uh, grub off. We put a new one on, put the uh, jig strip on the side. 
Let's see if this uh, makes a difference. inshore and we switched over to the uh, to the grub which is what we're using now seemed like the bike got a little more aggressive maybe they want a bigger profile maybe that tail really gets their attention oh what is this yeah this is what I'm talking about Wow, it's a nice quality fish. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. This is what we came out here for. Where is he? Oh wow, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, baby, it's been a while. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man, my arm hurts. Oh, my. That's why the net is up my shirt. <laughs> That's why I can't lift him in. Wow, hell yeah. Holy cow. Probably another solid eight, eight pound fluke. It's been a couple trips since I got one of these. I guess he, I guess the big boys like the gru the the grubs. I mean, first drop. Wow, that got my finger. Finger just went into his mouth. All right, he's done for. That's a wrap for him. Let's put him in the water. Oh no. Did we just? Oh, I'm sick to my stomach, guys. I usually always, before flopping the fish in the water, make sure the line is on the clip right there but it wasn't I tossed the fish back something sounded weird usually that clip clanks on the thing and I just didn't hear any clanking and I realized well unfortunately this sucks but there's a fish down there with a fr freaking stringer in its mouth you never know maybe we could catch him again who knows it sucks that was a nice seven pound fluke so mad at myself not only did we lose a fish, now there's a, a freaking fish down there with, with a stringer in its mouth. <sighs> Fingers crossed, maybe we can catch him again. I usually always check the freaking line to make sure it's on the clip that attaches it to the kayak. And it's just to put it to the stringer in the water, and I don't know if the line was just hardly clipped in there, or what the hell happened, but the line, he's down there with the stringer in his mouth, so... Hoping maybe a miracle happens and we catch him again today, but chances of that happening are probably not gonna freaking happen. Best. All right, that's it. We can't harp on this. We've been pissed off this whole time since we lost this fish. I gotta get back to fishing. My mind hasn't been on it. I just gotta hope for another fish. Or maybe a miracle happens. Who knows?
You know, the way this trip's going, I'm gonna keep this thing. All right, let's go, come on. Let's get positive again. Or it really sucks, but you know, we've been blessed with a lot of nice keeper fish this year, so. Take him home. Sea bass. Right, well, we got a limit of black sea bass. Had a fluke too, but do Whoa, fucking weak fish? It's a weak fish. I gotta Google how big a weak fish has to be. I'll find out right now. Weak fish, weak fish, where are you weak fish? I ain't no weak fish. That's gotta be at least 12 inches. It's confusing, but yeah, he's 17 inches. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep him. Very nice fish. Hell yeah, we're gonna keep him. Fish on ice. Oh yeah, we're not losing this one. Wow, hell yeah. That eases the heartbreak even more. He's connected. Unlike the last fluke, Twenty-three inches. About a four-pound fluke. We'll take him. 
he's gonna go on the dinner table. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. Uh, it was a tough day. We had a ton of dropped fish. If I show them all, it'll be, the video will be, gotta be probably 40 minutes long. So uh, obviously we showed you what you wanted to see. Some things that we wish didn't happen, which is that freaking seven pound fluke going overboard with our stringer attached to it. Just sucks, which we're gonna clip this to this guy. And we're gonna slide this whole freaking fish, including the stringer, into the cooler bag. All right, guys, we just put that fish in the cooler bag. He is attached to the cooler bag, so in the process, in case he came off, it be still attached to the kayak, but uh, it was a tough day, really, really tough day. A heartbreaker, too, because um, we started off by getting our limited black sea bass, which uh, is always nice. They're tasty little guys, but uh, got a nice, like, seven or eight pound fluke, got it in the boat, put it on the stringer, put it in the water to obviously neaten things up around here and the stringer wasn't attached wasn't attached to the boat so unfortunately there's a fish down there with a stringer attached to him which you know nobody ever wants to see happen but it's an accident I hope somebody scoffs him up whoever catches him is getting a free stringer I have to go home and order another one because I always like to have two on the kayak but uh we got an awesome weak fish. We never caught a weak fish before, so that's always a plus, you know, when you add a new species to your list. Um, not huge, but I always wanted to eat one, so we kept one. But um, yeah, and that's it. We're gonna call it quits. And thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want. Subscribe. I always appreciate, you know, all my subscribers. So, all right, we'll see you next time.